death of a police officer has a lot of people in shock this morning. The nightmare is real for the officer's family and, of course, for his extended law enforcement family. Joining us this morning, we have Cass County Sheriff Jesse Johnner to give us a little insight into just how hard this is to hear. Sheriff, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on and, and being able to talk about this. So obviously you're the Cass County Sheriff. This happened in Grand Forks. Grand Forks city police officer killed, uh, but a Grand Forks County uh, deputy also injured. Uh, how are how are you doing? How is the uh, law enforcement community, you know, here in the Valley doing as far as you know? Because we're not very far, Fargo, Grand Forks, really all of North Dakota, Minnesota. Sure, but let me just start off by first saying that my, my thoughts and prayers, of course, go out to the family members um, of the officer, uh, the Grand Forks deputy who was also injured, and then also the uh, um, citizen or the death of one of their sons. Um, of course, prayers are with Chief Nelson, Sheriff Schneider, as they um, lead their agencies through this very difficult time. Uh, I just want them to know that um, as the Cass County Sheriff, and our office that we will help, you know, them, of course, however we can in their community. So um, that's really what I, the first message that I wanna get out. And then secondly, um, it, affects, it affects us very, very deeply. Um, of course, like you said, with the distance that we're very close to that community, many of our officers know their officers up there, but just just the um, the incident that occurred and, 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 and how it occurred and the fact that they were, you know, working through an eviction process and our office does several of those um, a year. And uh, there's been several of those that we've been involved with here uh, that have been dangerous to our, our deputies as well. And we've had some incidents um, as we've executed some of those ex um, evictions here. Um, it's a very difficult time. Uh, we've reached out to their agency um, on several different occasions now and just really ask them how we could how we could assist their agency, how we could assist their citizens through this difficult time. It's very early in this whole process right now. We know Grand Forks Police are, are meeting right now. I would imagine the, uh, the Grand Forks County Sheriff's Department as well. But we, we did see some pretty incredible video of first responders and law enforcement coming together with that solemn procession last night. And I know from, you know, seeing past services of fallen officers that, you know, officers from all over the country often show up for, for the funeral. So can you talk a little bit about what you're expecting and you know what kind of role you know law enforcement families play? Well, very much like you said, law enforcement is a very uh, tight-knit family, whether it's the officers themselves or, or their families. You know, um, they, they sacrifice so much and are put into several different types of dangerous situations. And so, um, you know, through that, you, you kind of build that that bond and that sort of uh, brotherhood, sisterhood. And so, you know, anytime that you have a situation like this, really we're all there just to, to help each other through the situation. Um, so there might be some individuals, um, some other law enforcement leaders who have been through the same type of, of uh, circumstance. And so uh, with, with their experience in helping and working through those situations and really assisting with this situation and reaching out to that family and uh, both the Grand Forks Police Department and the Grand Forks Sheriff's Office as, as they move through this difficult time and really, you know, seeing how we can we, we can help them or lend a hand um, just just to help with the grieving process to make sure that this this officer is honored the way that 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 he um, that he needs to be uh, and, and, and everything that he sacrificed his life for protecting our community citizens. Today, obviously, is about Grand Forks, and uh, you know I, I've been seeing the hashtag Grand Forks Strong rallying around the police department, the the sheriff's department, but it really wasn't that long ago here that the Fargo and, and Cass County Sheriff's Department dealt with their own loss when Officer Jason Mosier was shot, and I feel like this is still somewhat fresh for a lot of officers here when you talk about helping. Uh, Grand Forks, sadly, you guys know how hard it, it really is. Certainly, you're, you're very correct on that. I mean, we, we obviously lost Officer Jason Mosier with the Fargo Police Department on uh, back on February 11th in 2016. 
And then also the loss of Rolex County Deputy Colt Allery, Allery in 2017 and Bismarck Police Officer Steve Kenner in 2011. So um, it, it, it does seem very recent that these things have happened. And of course, one is, one is too many. Um, we don't want to lose anyone, of course. And, and uh, when you have incidents like this that occur in such a close proximity of time, um, you know, that, that rings, rings home very, very dearly. And so, yeah, certainly much like you said, it, it, it seems like these things are happening all too frequent. And, um, you know, it, 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 it's, these are tough situations to certainly work through. I know that you have a tight schedule today, but just one last question, Sheriff, before I let you go. Uh, what's the message that you would like uh, to give to the community today? What can people do who, who want to help or want to show their support? Sure. Well, one thing I, I first want to say with that is that we're, we're very lucky in this area, whether it's Grand Forks community or, or the Cass County community, we have excellent support from our citizens and uh, we work very closely with them and, and uh, you know, we feel very grateful to to be able to to uh, serve and protect uh, these communities just because they support us so much. So really during this time, you know, if any uh, reach out from our community to uh, the Grand Forks Police Department, the Grand Forks Sheriff's Office, their community, and just showing that support and honor um, is, is going to, you know, assist in making this a little bit easier. It's, it's, it's still going to be a difficult situation, but, but showing that support really is um, really crucial to our officers as they go out and protect and serve every day. Sheriff Johnner, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, a tough day for our local law enforcement family across the region. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We'll be right back here on North Dakota Today.